Hello my brother, hope you are doing well as always. So a little while ago, um, probably a couple of years ago now, I did a couple of reaction videos of seeing myself when I was younger. Uh, I think there was one when I was about 14, 15 years old. And then the last one I did, I, I think I just, it would have been September 2002. So I would have just turned 18. And I've literally just come across this footage and I started watching a bit and I was cringing again. And I thought, hang on a minute, let's stop and let's watch it with you guys. Um, but I think it's really interesting to see. Now I saw about 60 seconds of this um, and the first thing you're gonna notice is how skinny I am. <laughs> I mean, I'm not exactly the biggest guy anyway. I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm muscly where it needs to be. You know what I mean? I'm still six foot one. But I was six foot one uh, then when I was 18 and probably weighed about nine stone. <laughs> what you're about to see. This gig, I think, if I remember rightly, is about October 2002. I remember it very well uh, because the first half of the gig I remember was really bad. Well, we all felt we, it was bad. It was my old band, Biff Tech, basically. And we went on to do well. I'll have to show, it'd be interesting actually showing this because then I will show you as we developed as a band and got kind of better. But we're just playing a pub. I think it was in Crawley, which ironically isn't far from where I live now. Uh, and I remember the first half going in the, the kind of dressing room, um, the back room in the pub, going, this is bad. And then we came on for the second set and it was much more fun. But then I remember a girl uh, who I was on and off involved with, who's now a very, very dear friend of mine, but at the time, um, <laughs> she, she started seeing one of my friends and I was absolutely gutted about it. And then we had a big heart to heart. And then I had borrowed my dad's van and we were driving back and my friend who she started getting on with smashed into the back of my dad's van. And there was a, it was a nightmare getting home. It, oh my goodness, and fights, rows. I still got to spend the time with the girl, so that was all good. But it was, I remember it so well. It, I remember it so well. Right, let's just go to it. And um, it's an hour and 44 minutes, it's saying it. I'm not gonna play an hour and 44 minutes, but we're, we're skinning it, all right? So um, let's see how we get on. Oh, a minute. This is a song called Pathless Worlds. And Paul's holding my Yamaha Pacifica um, because his SG snapped the string and that snapped the string in a bit as well. I know I'm really coy because my friends are there. Could Chris like the bass player in the shadows, just Chris. I don't think on the mic are the drums even mic? Maybe on the kick drum. Oh Mikey, look at him. <laughs> That's that guitar. Bit of wild wild going on there. Gotta bear in mind as well, this is before cameras on phones, boys and girls. So the camera work is interesting. <laughs> I want to 
gotta say, I'm not a fan of that guitar part now, listening to it. But it's not a bad tone, I guess. Considering that's a Stratocaster. I am going through, I love, I love the fact that, I love the fact that I'm in a pub and I've got my Marshall DSL 100 and a 4x12 cab. I look bored. <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> oh, I hadn't developed any kind of, sh you know, swagger yet. But I was very serious in my playing. I will. I know that. Remember that bit used to always knack me out because it was all down picks and I'm not a metal player, you know. I eventually got better at it. I probably couldn't do it now actually. <laughs> Nicely in tune there, Paul. Dom on drums. I actually sang something. I would have been so shy to sing back then. So shy. I know I was. I will say, I picked at that fast bit, I picked everything. I was really into picking, and I picked everything there. I, again, don't know if I could do that. Well, I might be able to do that now. What's... I'm not cringing at seeing the people, I don't know, that's actually my accountant now, the guy. <laughs> my, he was the band's manager and he's still my accountant, that's all, for Darren, sorry. So, um, I'm, I'm cringing at what I'm hearing. Oh, so good to see They're all my friends. Oh, Paul had snapped the string. I wonder why we're doing this.
That's Dom on drums. Dom, great drum. Very kind of Keith Moon, Ginger Baker. Um, he's a dear lad, Dom. <laughs> Right, let's skimmy a bit. Let's, uh... <laughs> I want to see like Steve I do that and think it looked cool. <laughs> right, so you saw this person earlier. This is Chris Skillings. Skillings! Um, he left, it. we were a five piece. And earlier on, I joined the band in the February of 2002 and he left in the summer. And then he's come back and is playing a song which sounds just like the Nirvana song, Rape Me. We're a punk band, you know what I mean? We're a punk band. Let's uh, what, let's go later. What's going on here? Now this was actually quite a nice song, which I'm coming across here. There we are. I could be melodic back then, you know. It's very, uh, very 90s Oasis stuff. Uh, Show Me The Sun, that was the first song I wrote with the band, I remember. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was a nice song. Right, let me, uh, let's see some more crazy madness guitar, what am I doing here? Brown sugar. Ah, oh, let's shimmy more. Oh, I'm seeing people. 
Oh, really? Let me go back. Oh, what was that? I used to hate the fact that I, I was a massive Bon Jovi fan back then, so that's why I did that. It's interesting seeing some people in that audience right now, especially some of the females. So we had a song called Bongo Bongo, which was purely an instrumental involving a bongo. So I think this would have been the second part now, so we're kind of like, at ease. Sorry for the sweat. People used to go nuts with this. I know how to do that. <laughs> you couldn't really hear it very well. All right, let's just do one more. Where's another kind of ripping guitar solo or something I've done? <laughs> Listen, we all come from something. Uh, I was all about, I think I said it before, I remember I just, it's the young, the young in me, and um, <clears throat> was very much about speed. And it's all pentatonics, it's all pentatonic boxes. Pretty much looking at it, shape one and two, I would um, be in. But that Show Me The Sun one, I'm doing more of a major scale stuff. I knew it. I was just, I was, I guess, showboating. Um, it is very strange. It's, it's like a time capsule seeing this. Um, Cause it takes me back to, you know, who I am. Now a father in his late thirties, seeing myself when I'm 18 and how ridiculously shy I was and um yeah uh and young lust and all that kind of stuff you know it's it's kind of funny so um yeah uh again lots of widow 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 
And um, but I, I I kind of started getting. I can still hear it's me now, if that's the same. But now it's just hopefully there's a maturity there, you know. Um, but I will uh, I'll continue this and I'll I'll try and dig out. Um, something from a couple of years later and you can see see this development um, anywho I will let you be and um, me and young Mike staring there bless him uh, we'll see you soon Mike Bradley signing out bye